Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to another episode of Intuitive Creators Spotlight. We are here to share inspiring stories, to share insights for intuitive creators who want to embrace their path, they want to connect with their gifts, and I truly believe that by sharing each other's stories, we can see how certain things are possible, and maybe some of those, those things we never thought are possible before. I am Stella, your host. I'm a guide for intuitive creators who want to feel seen and be rewarded for their gifts. Today, I have an amazing guest, Ray. She is very, she is very passionate about guiding people on their spiritual path. She helps them remember who they are, learn about their path, and really embrace their spiritual gifts. Ray, has an amazing soul, a beautiful heart, a calming energy. Uh, we've been connected for a while and I'm incredibly happy to have her here. She helps people see things clearly um, through various tools, meditation, guidance, readings. And in this way, people can make decisions easier and decisions that feel really aligned with who they are. Ray, welcome to our show. Tell us, what is it something really exciting that's going on in your life and the business at the moment? Oh, thank you so much, Stella. Those words were beautiful. And it's great to actually um, connect um, on your show, um, yes. which, which is wonderful. Thank you for inviting me. Um, so, gosh, uh, yeah, where to, where to start? Um, I've got a my membership. I'm relaunching my membership. I'm doing um, for the Sabbaths, uh, for, uh, the Pagan Wheels of the Year. You know, I'm doing live um, recordings um, where I'm explaining about the Sabbaths and where we're actually I'm taking people um, on guided meditations to celebrate them. Um, I've going on in some on the inside timer i'm doing going live on there i'm kind of like creating uh new courses programs it's like there's just so much going on i've got so much in my head that i want to um actually bring out you know there's a book books there and you know there is just so so much um but it is something i'm kind of like having to bring down and go okay concentrate on one thing at a time because all this guidance keeps coming in and it's like, whoa, thanks. But, <laughs> you know, give me a chance to breathe and actually concentrate on one or two things at a time. Probably two things, because one thing I just get bored with one thing and I have to be doing several <laughs> things at the same time. Yeah. And, you know, that means you're so open to this connection with the universe that you are inviting this guidance in your life, in your business. And that, of course, helps so many other people as well. But you're right, you know, on the energetical level, things happen very fast, but then we need to honor our bodies and to honor the fact that in this 3D world dimension, we need a little bit more time <laughs> yes. to make things happen. So, Ray, I know that your spiritual journey is very inspiring. I know you've done so many events. Um, you, We are connected for quite a few years now, and I know how much you've connected with yourself during this time as well. Can you share with us a pivotal moment, you know, um, or experience that inspired you to start this path of spiritual or intuitive guidance yeah sure um well I mean it's always been there um you know from childhood I was raised in a spiritual family so it, I've you know I've, I've dabbled with it over, over the years and uh when I actually look back at my childhood I actually look at things that I did or happened that actually oh now I know why they were there because they resonate in this lifetime but back in 2002 um I actually did a I had a card reading um, from someone and he said oh, I can see you going on a life-changing trip abroad by yourself I'm thinking never been abroad by myself before um, he said I can see it's going you know I think it's somewhere like Sri Lanka somewhere like that so it's like oh okay so um, after a couple of days later I went online went on to Lonely Planet and there was an article on Peru so I read that article, didn't get to Sri Lanka, just read the article in Peru. 
thought nothing more of it. Two days later, turned on the TV and there's a documentary on Peruvian bears. Stephen mm -hmm. finds a documentary on Peruvian bears. And I'm kind of like, oh, that there, you know, synchronicities, you know, I was, because of my background, I was kind of like aware, maybe there's synchronicity there. So I got a, a few brochures and it's like, it's a bit expensive, you know, to go traveling around Peru um, and that. So thought no more of it. But it's like, you know, if I meant to, you know, uni you know, universe, you know, come in. Anyway, um, some time later, I had to remortgage. And whilst I was changing mortgage companies, they made some kind of mix up. And I had to get compensation. And the compensation was the exact amount of one of these trips. <laughs> and it's like, OK, so I need to book this. So I, so I booked it. And then just before I was due to go on the trip, the girl I was working with at the time, her grandfather had passed away and she was up clearing out his her own property. And she came into work and she said, you'll never guess what I found in my grandfather's attic. There was an old uh, Lonely Planet guide to Peru and an old Peruvian map. It was like, what are the chances? And then the uh, fly, different synchronicities and the other 11 people on the trip with me, it was like we'd all connected. I mean, we came from Canada, America, UK, Ireland, Europe, you know, it's just this whole mix of people. But it was like all of us had connected. Even our guide had said he couldn't believe the energy um, uh, that we had. So that was special enough as it is. And then there were various different things that happened during the trip. But the main one was um, when uh, I did the four day Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. And on the uh, fourth day, you got really early to watch the sunrise over Machu Picchu. Um, now, obviously, the sunrise is every day, but they've got the sun gate there. And only at certain points does the sun go through at the correct angle. And I think our guide had been doing it for guiding them to Peru for about 10 years. And they'd only seen it about four times. Wow. It happened um, whilst we were there. And literally it came through at the exact alignment through the sun gate. And I mean, this is how amazing it was. I mean, there were children up there, but you would have heard a pin drop. That is how it was like, wow. And then whilst I was walking around Machu Picchu, I stood on one of the platforms. And as I looked down, suddenly there were all these Incans below me. And I was it was like I was addressing them. Wow. I only lasted, only lasted a few seconds. And then it's like, oh, my God, I've just gone back in time. You know, yeah. I've always been interested, mm -hmm. but I wasn't doing past life regression then. But I was always interested in past life stuff. And it's like, oh, my God, I've gone back in time. Um and when I came back to England, I so it's Octoberish time, October, November, when I came back to England and I was sitting in the office and it was one of those October, November days we get here where it gets dark early and it's raining outside and it's, hot, you know, really yucky. And I looked out the window and I thought, Do you know something, I'd rather be out there than sitting in front of a computer. Mm -hmm. And that kind of like then started all the different chain of events into starting you know doing our, um, the angelic crakey going back to doing cards again you know guided meditations future life past life you know all that all then just started snowballing all these synchronicities started coming in um you know and that's where i ended up creating my business from mm -hmm. um so yeah machu picchu uh the doing the inca trail was definitely yeah the one of the most pivotal points in my life so far spiritually on my journey Clearly, the universe worked with you to help you get there and to be in that perfect moment at that perfect mm. time with those people. And I totally agree with you in experiences like these retreats, group events. There is never a coincidence that you are there with those exact people. It is never, ever a coincidence because there is always something happening that you're like, oh, OK, so that's why I have to be here. So clearly you felt like you went back in time and you somehow connected with the notion of time at a deeper level. And then you continued with learning more about past lives and future lives or just traveling in time in general. And I know that, that dimensions been... now. Yeah. <laughs> and I know that we've been to some of these courses together, you know, to mm. learn about this powerful, amazing stuff. 
Uh, but I want to ask you, how do you feel this can help someone in their spiritual journey, you know, going into past, future, present, past life, future lives. How do you feel that can help someone in their journey? Um, well, from my own experience and through uh, my clients' experiences, the beauty of it is um, you can actually learn and heal so much and you actually start remembering why you are here. You you know, your divine spark um, your your divine presence so by going into the past you're actually going to see understand experience feel learn from and even if necessary heal from all those things that have gone on in in the past and when you do that you come back and you're fully in the present because you're no longer worrying about the past you're no longer carrying all that baggage that stuff from from the past and when you go into the future then, then um, what you're doing is you're going and seeing your future. You know, how is it for you? What are you doing? How are you doing it? How did you get there? What should you have done? What shouldn't you have done? Um, you know, because you actually get to talk to your to your future self. And then you bring that information back to your present. So again, you're, you're then back fully present. So you're not worrying about the future because you know that you've actually um, understood it and you know what it's going to, you know, the, the possible, it's, it's all, because all future is all possible, is all possibility. Um, you know, that if you, but if you take those actions, that information you've been given, then you don't need to, need to worry about that. And that's how that can really help you, um, move forward to actually go oh okay so now I can concentrate on being me now so how can I develop myself now how can I actually be of service and actually fulfill my purpose in this in this lifetime and again you know when you go back in time or you go forwards in time you can actually learn and understand skills and gifts that you had in the past and you can bring them back to the to the to the to the present um, or, you know, when you go to the future, you can see what skills you've got in a future lifetime and you can bring those back um, in into the present. And the beauty is when you do that, things can happen so much quicker than you actually thought. So you might see your your future in five years time, but you start bringing that stuff back and, you know, it can happen within months. Um, I mean, I know, I, you know, some of my clients, it's happened within months mm -hmm. that these things that these things have happened for them, as you found with your clients. So so that's the beauty of how um, that, you know, that can help you. And that has kind of like morphed now um, as I've grown on my spiritual journey. And obviously I've been working with angels for a long, long time. But it was through a future life progression that I had that I actually um, ended up going to Corel, which um, is kind of like um, Sri Lanka Nirvana. Um, and it literally is your own personal Shangla and Love. And when I'm taking people there, it's kind of like, it's not just the past and the present, but it's other dimensions and other lifetimes and going through portals that people are actually having the, the most profound experiences and changes because they're learning more um, about what's happened. They're retrieving bits to themselves. They're bringing those skills back. They're seeing the different uh, future timelines that they can possibly be. They're seeing the parallel stuff. They're seeing other, other planets, you know, that they might have come from, the gifts and stuff they can bring back, the downloads that they can understand now. And through all of that, harmonics came in which um, is kind of like some people say it's talking in tongues, others uh, say it's light language. But to me, it's like harmonics. It's like energy resonance. And that comes in to help with the healing um, uh, in, in it. So it kind of like goes a lot, it goes a lot deeper, but people come out of it having a lot more clarity on knowing who they are, where they're going, why they're doing it and how they can do it. And I think when people understand all of that and they are fully present, things just open up for them and the synchronicities, the abundance, everything starts coming in for them. Mm. Um, so, yeah, and then throw into the mix angelic reiki and, <laughs> and card readings, you know, and everything else. And it just all sort of like um, morphs into this, into this, into this beautiful um, bubble of divine remembrance 
um, a, a, you know, about yourself. But any single one of those steps, whatever, well, any single one of those sessions is a step towards you taking back control of your destiny, um, which I think is something that a lot of people have lost. Um, you, you know, we rely too much on things around us. And when things happen, that can completely throw us. Absolutely, absolutely. And I love how you explained these um, aspects you know, of time, because um, oh, what I hear often from people is like, yeah, I don't know if I want to travel in the future or in the past, because I know that on my spiritual journey, I need to always be present in the present moment. And I just love how you explained that you are traveling and that's how sometimes I'm I'm like sharing with people that you are traveling in time to bring in important information that your soul needs to know right now. It's like you're learning something and then suddenly, you know, you need to go to the library, find a book, open it to a certain page, look there, read the information, close the book, come back to your present time, assimilate that information, put it in practice, see if it works, if it doesn't work, fine, you know. And that's why, you know, all of these tools and all of them, they are tools and we can choose to mm. work with whatever tools we want. But the idea is to bring in information that is relevant and important for our own journey. Because if we can develop these abilities to connect with the everything that is around us and understand what resonates with us and what's not for us, then when we hit challenges and hard, difficult moments, we know we are not alone. We know we can just connect with what's around us within us and we know that we are loved and protected and it doesn't matter how challenging and hard and painful it is in this physical existence you trust and you believe and you just know that there is help for you so talking about this ray i know that you faced a profound challenge in 2022 and uh, i'm sure this uh, <laughs> this invited you in quite a, a intense chapter for your own spiritual journey um would you like to share with us based on your experience what it means to go through such a difficult moment through your life and what to pay attention to when you're learning the lessons from such events yeah certainly um you, you know i i kind of like because everyone kind of like says when you get on your spiritual journey you know you've got to have some um you know uh, bottom of the pit you know you've got to be crawling on the floor before you can get into your spiritual you know sort of thing and I never had that you know I've had uh you know a, um, a really ideal um opportunity to grow spiritually and again that was because that's what I chose in this lifetime because I've had over 300 previous past lives you know so I've gone through some crazy stuff you know some serious stuff but because we're always evolving and the energy on earth is now changing as we're going kind of like 3D to 5D. Um, yeah, I literally had uh, last year, the rug pulled out from un under my feet. It literally was, whoa, wh you, you know, all those things. Why? You know, wh what's going to happen now? What am I going to do? Uh, you know, the, the human emotions, the tears, the anger, the the kind of like fear, the, you know, everything like that. But because of all these things that I know and the fact, you know, I know the angels, the universe, I might kind of, like, you know, after a couple of days of feeling, of, of having a pity party, um, which I always say everyone is allowed to have, you know, never ever not express any feelings of anger or guilt or upset or emotions you know you have to express them but don't keep them going on for long days so after a weekend of a pity party um but what well, wasn't just a pity party but it was allowing my emotions to actually come out of me I kind of like okay need to sit down now okay a universe Although actually I kind of like knew when it happened, so the, it, the universe had already come in and sort of like told me. And uh, the first words my mum said to me were exactly what, uh, what it was. And it was basically, it was to 
it was the lesson that I needed to actually take me onto my next level, onto my next stage. And I looked at it from a higher perspective as I think when you need for any situation that comes in, it's very important to look at it from a higher perspective. So you're looking down on it. Okay, why did this happen? You don't need to know the ins, out, why's everything. Okay, why has this happened? What is the bigger picture for me? What does the universe want to show me? You know, is there a lesson to learn from this? Well, from this, there was no lesson for me to learn. But Oh, I see this has happened because it's the universe pushing me to my next level, the next stage of my spiritual um, de you know, development. This is happening on a wider scale to more and more people out there. So if this is happening to more and more people, if it's happened to you, how are you going to deal with it? You know, so that you can be, a, be of service and help other people. And and. I actually went into because I've done all these, th you know, these things, I actually, you know, and I've, I've got a good support network around me. And that's the thing when you get onto your spiritual path, aren't you? So you, you gather all these people around you, you have the right community and tribe. And there were so many people, you know, reaching out to help me, you know. So I did past life, you know, I did some future life, uh, you know, I did healing. Um, so other people helped me on on that because it's quite difficult to take yourself back in time or take yourself forward in time. You need somebody to to do that for you. Um, but by doing that and and a sort of like healing, healing stuff from the past that, be, you know, you think, oh, well, I've, I, you know, I've healed so many things in my past. Is there anything else? There's always going to be something because every time a new situation in this lifetime comes in as the vibrations changing, there's going to be something you need to heal and clear from the past to help you on, on that um, journey to actually um, a, expand. So it was kind of like, okay, let's look at the past. Let's look at look at the future. What do I need to know for my present time? What healing do I need to know? What healing do I need to know now? And how can I see this as a bigger picture of what's of what's happening and know that I can take the next steps to actually change this, to change my emotions, my feelings. And when you start changing your emotions and seeing it rather, rather than something that's, oh my God, my life is now ended, you know, I'm gonna do this. But look at it as, okay, the curiosity, what can I create now? I love it. You know, what can I now bring in, you, you know, and start exploring those things. Um, with it, which gives you a new understanding and new things are coming in. You know, think about children. They are so curious. You know, they, you know, they might be climbing a tree, they fall down. Does that stop them climbing the tree? No, they're curious. Okay, I might have fallen down that, but can I get higher this time? You know, what happens if I get higher? So, so, so it's kind of like remembering to have that cure. It's kind of like reminding you that we need to have this curiosity. Okay, so this thing no longer is working. But what's the next possibility? What could I create now? You know, I've now got the freedom to do something different. What can I create? What can I bring in? How can I show up? Um, and that's kind of like how it kind of like evolved, evolved for me. And that's how I'm now seeing, you know, myself um, helping and being of service to other people um, because I'm seeing more and more people being in that situation where Things are changed. The 3D is crumbling and the 5D is coming in. So, so people, the rug is being pulled out from people's feet. Now, what they thought was solid is no longer solid. And they're left in that, my God, what do I do next? Where, where do I go next? Mm -hmm. And the thing to remember is look at it from a high perspective. You know, try and it, it's easy for me to say because I've, you know, I've been in the spiritual background for a long time. So it was fairly easy, easy for me to do that. Let's try to look at it from a higher perspective. Look at the whole picture. Okay, so that might have happened. Is there stuff I need to learn from that? Okay, I need to I need to learn that so it doesn't go into the future. No, there's nothing I need to learn for that. It was just the universe pushing me to the next step. Okay, what possibilities can I now create? Oh, I'm curious about what what this is what this is going to turn out like, and I've got nothing to lose. Absolutely, because I don't Absolutely. have that anymore. <laughs> So what have I got to lose by, by ex experimenting and being curious and moving forward um, with my life? And it, it is also about not doing it alone. 
Mm -hmm. You know, I could have, because I have all these tools, I have all the experience, I could have, okay, I need to figure this out myself. I need to understand this myself. But I knew that I had to reach out to to my community, you know, to my peers, to friends and go, I need help with this, you know. And there's, and they are, so, when you get the right group of people, they are so supportive. We all support each other doesn't matter if you're going through an issue you know you know you're still support the other person and they do that for you as well and that's that beautiful community energy that gets created when you find the right people around you um so so it's kind of like you're never ever alone and that's the big thing that people need to remember you know you might feel that you're isolated but there is always going to be someone out there you just have to put the call out you have to say to the universe the angels thank you so much angels thank you so much universe thank you so much god whoever you want thank you so much for bringing the right people the right person into my life to help me move forward now i love it and be open yeah and that's you know showing gratitude to everything that is out there and gratitude to our own soul as well and this body and everything that helped us get to this point in time. And I love how you explained, um, Ray, how important the community aspect is. And for everybody who's watching, Ray has an amazing community of people where she's pr providing and offering a lot of support and guidance. We will be sharing the links in the description of this video so that you can check that out. And everything else that Ray will be, like she talked about today, we will definitely share in the comments uh, of the yeah. description and in the description of this video and uh, before we end this video Ray if you were to give one piece of advice to everyone who's watching us maybe they are at the point where they want to embrace their gifts maybe they're going through something challenging what should they remember as they're going through this I think the thing that they should remember is that as I said before, they're not alone. There is always support and guidance out there. But you're also always surrounded by angels. You know, you've always got that universal energy. And remember, you are one with everyone and everyone is one with you. So there will always be that support there for you. You just have to be open to receiving it and let your emotions um out don't hold them in but know that there is support out there for you and tap into your own inner knowledge and wisdom thank you so much for this ray and as you can tell she has an incredible voice and she does meditation so again we'll share the links um, in the description of this video for you to check that out Thank you so much to everyone who has watched us. Uh, thank you for being here with us. If you liked this video and you're watching us on YouTube, please like it. And if you like the energy and the vibe of this channel, please subscribe and ring the bell notifications for more, you know, of these amazing videos if you feel connected to them. And um, my gift to you, again, check out the description of this video, will be a freebie a master practitioner checklist that will help you understand what makes people want to be in your presence, connect with you, and ultimately want to work with you. And on this note, I'm sending you all lots and lots of love and see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.